it is common knowledge. Now we all know about uh, the buildings that have collapsed. We would definitely have, the, all of them have a hand because we all play together to have those buildings. So we'll have the, the, the developer, we have uh, whoever who are uh, supervisors and the ones who are working. When you go to the field, there is the blame game of the worker saying, no, when I requested for ABCD, I was told to use this amount of material. When I went for this, that is what was provided. So there is that, that issue. When we go to the engineer, the engineer says, no, I, I did my job very well. Unfortunately, now there is that issue of the blame game, who takes the blame. And unfortunately, also, when you look at even the information that is gathered after maybe a, a building collapsing, you will find that we have never been brought in as engineering technology registration board. So they would want to suppress the board in doing what it's not uh, so that it doesn't do the work. And this is because now it is being covered. The same, no, the engineer, no, it is ABCD. And uh, we are taking steps again I mean, on that to ensure that the members who are the, the technicians, the technologists, craft persons and the artisans who are, are working actually regulated. Currently those ones who are in the field, most of them haven't registered. So one, the information has not come out clearly to them that they need to do the registration. Number two, there is always a hide and seek. So the board has been having its challenges, especially financially. So it wasn't able to do that regulation. But I believe from this year on, uh, things will change. Yes. We have three CPD trainings. This is our second one this year. And we do this for our members and our potential members. And the reason we do this is to have these professionals develop their skills uh, above what they usually know and they better the society. Yeah, as you know, engineering technology is all about uh, problem solving in the society. And uh, generally, engineering technology professionals are the people to do that. So we usually train them so that they take up uh, whatever uh, issues that are there in the society and, uh, and, uh, and solve that. And of course, it happens that engineering technology professionals are, uh, are the builders of any country's industry. So we are also aware of that. That's why we want to be at par with what happens. That's why we usually train our members uh, in uh, continuous professional development. Yeah, we have a number of members. We have uh, 6,600 members plus in terms of engineering technology professionals. And we are projecting that these numbers will grow because these are the people who generally work for the country in terms of uh, technology.